गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी विल डिस्कस द इक्वेशन ऑफ टेंजेंट लाइन एट अ पॉइंट ऑन अ स्पेस कर सो लेट इज कंसिडर सी बी अ स्पेस कर पी इज एनी पॉइंट ऑन द कर्व सी हैविंग द पोजिशन वैक्टर गिवन बाय द वैक्टर आर एंड क्यू इज अ पॉइंट ऑन द टेंजेंट लाइन विच इज ड्रॉन एट द पॉइंट पी एंड लेट द पोजिशन वैक्टर ऑफ दिस पॉइंट क्यू is the vector r capital letter denoted by capital letter r now we can see that the unit tangent vector along the line pq that is the vector dr by ds and it is generally denoted by the vector t cap now in the triangle pqr we can apply triangle law for this let us first find the value of vector pq now vector pq can be written as its magnitude and into the unit vector along the vector pq which is here the unit tangent vector denoted by the vector r dash let us take the magnitude of vector pq that is the scalar lambda so the vector pq can be written as lambda into vector r dash now let us apply triangle law in the triangle opq so by triangle of vector addition we can write vector oq is equal to vector op plus vector pq now from the figure we can see that vector oq is vector r vector op is the vector denoted by the small letter r and the vector pq is lambda into vector r dash so this is the required equation of tangent line at the point p now if the equation of the curve is given in terms of parameter t in that case we can find r dot r dot is the derivative of vector r with respect to the parameter t now we can write it as dr by ds into ds by dt now by definition dr by ds is the vector r dash which is the unit tangent vector at the point p into ds by dt now from here we can find the value of the vector r dash which is given by the vector r dot divided by ds by dt now we can substitute the value of r dash in the equation 1 so substituting the value there the equation 1 becomes vector r is equal to small vector r plus lambda into the value of r dash is r dot divided by ds by dt now let us take this scalar as mu so the equation of the tangent line at the point p takes the form r vector is equal to the vector r plus mu into the vector r dot this is the equation of the tangent line at the point p now let us derive the cartesian form of the equation of the tangent line in order to derive the cartesian form let us take the cartesian coordinates of both points cartesian coordinates of the point p are x y z and let us take the coordinates of point q r capital x capital y and capital z so we can write the position vector of point p as x i plus y j plus z k now differentiating with respect to s the derivative of x will be dx by ds which is denoted by x dash the derivative of y is dy by ds which is denoted by y dash the derivative of z is denoted by z dash which is dz by ds now the position vector of point q is the vector r which is capital x i plus capital y j plus capital z k now the equation of tangent line we have already studied in this form a uh, vector r is equal to vector r plus lambda into vector r dash now substituting the value of all the three vectors vector r this vector r and the vector r dash now substituting the values we get xi plus yj plus zk is equal to this is the position vector of vector small r plus lambda into the vector r dash is x dash i plus y dash j plus z dash k now from here let us compare the coefficients of i j and k on both sides equating the coefficients of i on both sides on the left hand side the coefficient of i is x and on the right hand side the coefficient of i is x plus lambda x dash 
on the left side the coefficient of j is y and on the right side is y plus lambda y dash and uh, the coefficient of k on the left side is z on the right side is z plus lambda z dash so from here from this equation we get x minus x is equal to lambda into x dash from this equation we get y minus y is equal to lambda into y dash from this equation we get z minus z is equal to lambda into z dash so from all the three equations we can find the value of the parameter lambda now let us find the value of lambda from all the three equations and equating we get the equation of the tangent line in cartesian form which is given by x minus x by x dash y minus y by y dash z minus z divided by z dash this is the equation of the tangent line in the cartesian form now if the given curve is in the parameter t then here in the above equation dash can be replaced by dot where x dot y dot z dot denotes the derivatives with respect to the parameter t means x dot is dx by dt y dot is dy by dt and z dot is dz by dt now the next is to find the equation of tangent line to the curve of intersection of two surfaces the first surface has the equation f1 function of x y z is equal to 0 and the second is f2 function of x y and z is equal to 0 we are to find the equation of tangent line for the intersection of these two surfaces now the given surfaces are these two f1 x y z is equal to 0 and f2 function of x y z is equal to 0 let us differentiate these two equations one by one with respect to the parameter s so differentiating this equation from here curl f1 by curl x into dx by ds plus curl f1 by curl y into dy by ds plus curl f1 by curl z into dz by ds is equal to 0. In the same way differentiating this equation with respect to s we get curl f2 by curl x into dx by ds plus curl f2 by curl y into dy by ds plus curl f2 by curl z into dz by ds is equal to 0. Now solving these equations by cross multiplication so dx by ds in uh, dx by ds divided by the product of these two minus the product of these two then dy by ds divided by the product of these two uh, minus product of these two now dz by ds divided by the product of these two terms minus the product of these two terms now we can substitute these values in the equation of the tangent line the equation of tangent line is the x minus x divided by dx by ds y minus y divided by dy by ds z minus z divided by dz by ds now substituting the all the three values here dx by ds dy by ds and dz by ds we get the equation of the tangent line in this form now let us discuss some problems based on the equation of tangent line so the first problem is find the equation of tangent line at the point t is equal to 1 for the curve having the equations given by x is equal to 1 plus t, y is equal to minus t square, z is equal to 1 plus t square. So <clears throat> to find the equation of tangent line, let us find the derivatives of x, y and z with respect to the parameter t. So from here, the derivative of x with respect to t is dx by dt. From here, the derivative of 1 is 0, the derivative of t is 1. The derivative of y is dy by dt, the derivative of t square is 2t, the derivative of 1 plus t square that is 2t. Now because it is given that t is equal to 1, so putting t is equal to 1 in x, y, z as well as dx by dt, dy by dt, dz by dt. So substituting t is equal to 1 here, x becomes 2, y becomes minus 1 and z becomes 2. Now substituting t is equal to 1 here in the three equations dx by dt is 1, dy by dt is minus 2, dz by dt is 2. Now we can substitute all these values in the equation of tangent line. Equation of tangent line is given by x minus x divided by x dot 
y minus y divided by y dot, z minus z divided by z dot. So x, y, z are uh, x, y, z are having the values 2, minus 1 and 2 and x dot, y dot, z dot are having the values 1, minus 2 and 2. So substituting the values here, we get the required equation. Now, the next problem is show that the tangent at any point of the curve having the equations x is equal to 3t, y is equal to 3t square, z is equal to 2, 2t cube makes constant angle with the line y is equal to z minus x is equal to 0. So to find the angle between the two, uh, let us find the direction cosines of the tangent as well as the direction cosines of given line. To find the direction cosines of tangent, let us find the unit tangent vector t cap. So to find the unit tangent vector, let us find with the vector dr by dt. So from here, differentiating with respect to t, the derivative of 3t is 3, the derivative of 3t square is 60, the derivative of 2t cube is 60 square. Now taking the magnitude of this vector, which is given by the square root of the coefficient of i square plus coefficient of j whole square plus coefficient of k whole square under root. Now the unit vector is given by the vector dr by dt divided by its magnitude. Substituting the value of these two here, we get t cap. Now the coefficients of i, j and k in the vector t cap that gives us the direction cosines of tangent. So we have obtained the direction cosines of tangent from here. Now the given line is x by 1, y by 0 is equal to z by 1. Now these are the direction ratios of the line. Now to find the direction cosines, 1 divided by the square root of square of 1 plus square of 0 plus square of 1. 0 divided by root 2, 1 divided by root 2. Now let us take theta be the angle between the tangent and the given line. So y definition, cos theta is L1 into L2 plus M1 into M2 plus N1 into N2 where L1, M1, N1 are the direction cosines of tangent and L2, M2, N2 are the direction cosines of given line. Now substituting the values of L1, L2, M1, M2, N1, N2 here we get cos theta is equal to 1 upon under root 2. So this implies that theta is pi by 4 which is constant. Thus we have proved that the tangent at the given point of the curve makes constant angle with the given line. These were the some problems based on the tangent at any point on a space curve.